waiting for the paint to dry. <laughs> Check this out. I decided to play with the Slurpee 104. She's freewheeling right now. As you can tell by the sound of it. And there's a little bit of wind. I stuck it up there a little bit higher. I'll tell you what, even though it's freewheeling, it's giving that thin pole a lot of trouble. I might have to take it down and had to uh, slide another one over it and make it a lot stronger. <laughs> Boy, she's kicking. Get you a voltage reading here in a minute. Walk up a little bit to it. Watch that pole. The wind is wild. Number one thing you got to understand is you need a good tower to protect your investment. I'm not really too worried about this. It's just kind of a quick prop. Not all that much wind. There's a little bit out there. <laughs> okay, well, if you look right down here, you see uh, two nickel metal hydrides, which are 1.2 volts. They're the ones for my other camera. And I got the solar panel off one of the lawn lights. I measured it out about 2.2 volts. It's about 1.2 volts. Not too bad of an idea. I was thinking about sticking one on my clock, too. It's got one double A. These batteries right here are in parallel. I just put a piece of aluminum foil tape on both in, uh, both sides of those rubber pieces there and stuck the batteries between them and shoved the wires in. When I measured it on the meter and took it out into the sunlight, it came up about two points, so. That little solar cell is doing a pretty decent job. Oh, not in boom boom. Right now I'm taking some video of the Slurpee 104. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, she's doing about 40, 45 volts. I'll pay what? Oh, I don't know. I ain't got hooked to the battery. She's just freewheeling up here. Boy, she's spinning, though. <laughs> Damn, that is cool, man. That is cool. <laughs> anyway. Hey, Bill, my brother's on Skype. Bill, that's Mr. Scott, the guy that uh, him and I made the video together when we converted an induction motor to a generator. He put a, uh, how long is that for? Why had you? Uh, it's 104 centimeters right now. It's 104 centimeters in diameter, the prop he put on it. He says right now it's spinning at the, of course he's not, you know, he doesn't have a hook to a battery or anything, but it's putting out 48 volts. And yeah. he hasn't measured the wattage. Yeah, it, it hit 48 a while ago. It almost hit yeah. 50. I'm waiting for it to hit 50. But that's well, three, had, that's three foot. That's 55 five. or 56 volts at 600 RPM, remember? Yup. So it's almost doing as fast as you drill. Uh, All right. So that's uh, that's three foot five inch prop on her. <laughs> She's oh, all man. hauling. I had to strengthen the pole that it was on by sliding another one down on it. But anyway, I just repainted everything on the uh, axial flux and doing a video on that too. So right now you're on video. All right. <laughs> Alrighty, bro. I'll get you later. You'll see the video when you get there. I'm coming up there to see you for some time this, this uh, coming week. All righty. All right, man. You be good. Hasta la bow wow, my friend. Okay. Hasta la later. <laughs> yeah, she's a-hauling. There's 32. There it is. 26. Well, she's jumping up there. We saw it up there. It was hitting about uh, 39, almost 40, wa uh, 40 volts. And... Uh, earlier, uh, I had it up there, right? It was doing about 49, 48 volts. I hadn't seen it break 50. So we had it up at 52 or 54 volts on the video before. And it's a little windy out there. Basically about, oh, right about uh, 10, uh, running up to about, uh, running up to right about 17 mile an hour gusts. So she's doing okay. I'll let you look at the trees out here. They're kind of shaking around a little bit. Those ones over there aren't doing much, but she's a hauling. Not bad for a little four magnet motor there. <laughs> Didn't cost much to make. Just pulled it out of a Slurpee machine. Drill a few holes. You'll see it on the AC AC uh, induction motor conversion uh, that we did at uh, Boomtown Laboratories. Anyway, back to the axial flux. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies many good things to you and yours okay just for the quick giggles we had uh, slowed down a little bit there we had 12 uh, sorry 13.16 volts while this up here was at 0 
So basically you're looking at about 910 milliwatt, eh, about 9 tenths of a watt. Ain't much, but you know what? It sure is fun as a toy. Eh, that's why I say it's just a toy. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get back to the axial flux. Many good things to you and yours. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Starting to slow down now. Oh no, starting to pick back it. Uh, it's, a, it's a wild wind day. <laughs> Lots of fun. So you say, what is that power good for? Lighting up these LED directionals. <laughs> anyway. Lots of fun. If this was spinning at night, I could sit there and shine this light inside the shop. Not have a problem. This is a 12 volt light. Eh, low milliamps. It's kind of flickering. It looks kind of like it's fading in and out, but that's due to the frame rate of the camera. But you can see she's really kicking. Anyway, lots of fun. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies with the Slurpee 104. 104 centimeter prop with a slurpy machine motor with magnets for conversion and you know I probably wouldn't even need that diode rectifier up there because these are diodes anyway 104 centimeter prop 3 foot 5 inches keep smiling and have a ball